Hello everyone, here's the materials and equipment prior to our project proposal. For presenting, we have projector setup. We will use the projector to have a bigger view of the presentation. The next one, monoblock chairs. Maximum of 300 chairs. It is important for the comfort of viewers or listeners. Next, two medium-sized good condition speakers, amplifiers, and microphones to have a better and loud and clear voice that the listeners will be able to hear important information clearly. Also, break time is a must. For snacks, we have two slices of bread with orange juice which is divided properly to teachers and students. For lunch, for them to have energy to finish the proposal, we have packed lunch in a styro box which contains one piece chicken, one cup rice, and one serving of pancit bihon. And our budget is 10,000 pesos, which is we computed properly and it is good enough. And lastly, we are thankful for the sponsor of the projector setup, which is Reds TV. New Valencia Integrated School We choose New Valencia Integrated School to conduct our mini field research study. We conducted seminars or trainings for teachers and students of New Valencia Integrated School. We are very happy that we conducted the research or this seminar to their school because they listened attentively during the seminar and they also raised some questions with regards to our topic. The seminar was attended by 300 students including the faculties and the teachers. They raised questions and we also gave them some snacks for them not to be bored during the seminar. ICT enables the use of innovative educational resources and the renewal of learning methods. As claimed by David Warlick, we need technology in every classroom and in every student's and teacher's hand. Because it is the pen and paper of our time and it is the lens through which we experience much of our world. With ICT integration spreading throughout the world, barriers also eventuate. In one of the schools in Adwa, Ethiopia, 55.6% of teachers cannot use ICT as instructional tools. In one of the schools in the Philippines, particularly in urban area in Mindanao, struggles to use ICT in education as the percentage of teachers who struggles using ICT is 60%. This could result to teachers and students' defective learning process, especially with our generation full of technology. As learners and future educators, it is not too late to grasp and acquire this new education era. We need to possess sufficient ICT skills to implement the technology and to have high confident level to use it in a classroom setting. Therefore, our team decided to promote ICT skills among teachers as a factor to progressive ICT integration in education. Lack of ICT knowledge and skills are seen to be the problem of New Valencia Integrated School. So teachers must learn how to integrate ICT into their classroom so that students can interact promptly and concisely. All the technologies and applications as well as information and process that are used to communicate, create, and disseminate information will help teachers to deliver lessons effectively. According to the research, technology-based teaching and learning are more effective than traditional classroom learning. Using ICT tools and equipment will prepare an active learning environment that is more interesting and effective for teachers and students. Training teachers must engage in continual training to use of ICT in classroom with confidence, according to the research. Another research said that ICT integration has great effect on both teachers and students. Making and keeping a simple PowerPoint presentation by adapting a design approach that is simple and can create slides that are clear, concise, and above all, understandable. Or in layman's term, you'll easily get the main point across and following the five rules of PowerPoint presentation, which are the following. Number one, 
each slide should know more than five lines. Each line should know more than five words. Second is the font. Third is the picture. Fourth is the body language. This is where the time you will explain or you will present your PowerPoint presentation to the student or to your teacher. Next is the timing. Now here are the applications or site you can visit or you can download to create a simple PowerPoint presentation. So firstly is we have Canva. So this Canva is an application as well as a site that you can visit so that you will create a attractive and simple PowerPoint presentation. As well as the Google site, it is also a site and applications, the application rather, that you can visit. And next is we have the WPS. So this is an application wherein you can download it on your Play Store. Next is we have the Microsoft Office. You can also download this application or simply search it on the Google Chrome. I will be sending to you on how to make PowerPoint presentation using the four apps that have mentioned. So first things we have the Canva. So as you can see there, I just click the create. Then you can also choose a template that you like. So as for me, I like um, Christmas template. So I chose Christmas template. So you can edit out those text that you have seen there. And then, well, change it. And also you can add or create your own um, slide. Or simply pick um, slides that you wanted to and you can also remove those um, unnecessary um, things that is seen there so it's up to you on how you will present or how would you design your powerpoint presentation so you can also add pictures on that resize the picture and of course move the, the picture so yes that's it next we have google slides so simply search the google slide and click google slide then there are also a lot of templates that you can choose in there so yeah um i'll be um, making my own template so you can also choose some themes so i choose the black theme and of course you can just type the canva you can also type or you can also edit out some text using uh the google slide and also um you can add another slide and of course you can also edit this out and of course add some uh, pictures so that your students or the, the listeners your report can understand thoroughly what are you what are you trying to convey or what are you trying to point out during your discussion so yeah you can move um out the picture and also you can add some shapes arrows and everything that you wanted to and you can also add some animations on the uh PowerPoint presentation and also you can put some text on the arrows that you put. Just follow what I am doing there and you can also explore on how to use the uh, Google slide. So next is we have the WPS. So this WPS I just downloaded it and then just follow the arrows that I have seen or shown on the first then um, just like the Google slide and the Canva, you can also edit out some text here and um, paste what you wanted to put on your PowerPoint presentation. So as you can put it maybe, you can also add new text or new slide and you can change also the layout. You can add some pictures, just choose pictures that you wanted to. So just for me, it is a random picture. So you can also resize the picture and of course, add some text on the text box and also you can change the colors of the text box you can also add another text box and um, add, add some shapes or arrows on your powerpoint presentation so as you can see on your screen i'm putting some arrows in there and you can also resize the arrow just like on the previous two that i have shown to you we have the Microsoft Office so just follow the arrows that I have so shown then just like also in the WPS it has the same features so you can add some layouts you can also or you can change the layout rather you can also add some arrows or shapes that you want to or that um, you like and also you can add some pictures and As this project concludes, teachers will be modifying their traditional teaching approach.
basically teachers' knowledge and skills that have been attained and realized due to our team's proposal will influence their classroom engagement and management approach, particularly integrating ICT techniques in their respective fields. Creativity, reasoning, communication, and higher order thinking skills among students will be developed. As mentioned earlier by my team, students are one of the recipients of this project. Thus, the latter is beneficial on their part as this enables them to discover abilities beyond their own, which is also a significant factor of their academic development and achievement. Therefore, obtained knowledge and skills from this project will be beneficial to creating students as 21st century learners and developing teachers to adapt to technology as to possess 21st century skills. Our team regarded this proposal as transformational in its sense with which contribute to realizing the overall academic goal of DepEd to grow ICT literate and globally competitive learners.